Okay, I've been asked a few times to explain how I get, how I work my patterns out. So I use a program called, it's a graphics program called Affinity Designer. Um, you have to pay for it, but it's not vastly expensive in comparison to Illustrator and all those sort of things. Um, so this is, uh, I've started off with a picture of one of my puppies. Um, and basically all I do is I zoom in really close up to it and I use a pen tool and I'm just going to basically block off the colours that I see and then I actually used a fill finder which um, basically finds the colour within that area and oh no hold on And then I put the colour in. Um, and so again over here, try and overlap things otherwise when you uh, come to get the actual pattern you'll find nothing overlaps properly. A bit of a pain. You'll probably find it here. I probably won't overlap everything and have to go over it. So just finding, looking, seeing where the colours are. Slightly different, it's quite a light brownish colour there. There we go, I'm gonna fill that in a slightly darker area in here. Got a nice sort of greyish streak coming down here. Because uh, I fussy cut all of my bits. Um, I do a fairly precise pattern so each one of these blocks I would individually cut out um, so get a nice black area going all the way around there I'm just going to drop that behind a little bit just so it doesn't go over the top of what I've done. This sort of grey area over here. Uh, and I make a full colour pattern first and then I uh, refer back to that pattern when I'm actually doing the piece. Um, tend to look at the photograph after that really very much if it's not going very well I'll have a look at the photograph and find out why it's not going very well but don't usually have to too much I just fill in this area here there we go it's just a quick demonstration just go over here just because it makes it nice and symmetrical symmetrical okay so once I've got all of it done basically or if I need to check to see how I'm getting on um, you can see I can come out it looks really weird because I've got a nice red outline so what I'll do is I'll just select all and I will change that outline to a transparent outline okay so there you go you can see that's basically how it's going to look um, once I've done everything that I want to do, um, I can just take it or take the background off of it. Okay, so you can see what we're left with. See, as I said, look, I haven't quite overlapped areas, so I just need to go back and just make sure everything's overlapping a little bit. Otherwise, it makes it makes your pattern quite complicated. Gonna be too fussy here obviously because you're it's not very exciting to watch <laughs> but uh, I just want to show you what I do with it next oops
depending in what order I've done these, some of the colours will drop behind the colour that's in front of it. Um, and if I was doing it myself, I would probably drop them behind as I'm doing each colour just to make it a bit quicker. Because it's a bit more complicated, so I don't want to... Okay, so that's, that's good enough, anyway. So, the next stage I would do... Um, once I'd done the whole thing, um, is I would completely get rid of my background. I would select everything that I've got, like that, so that's all selected. I would change my outline, which I've made transparent so you could see how nice it looked. I'm going to put a black outline on it now, but th then the rest of it, I'm going to put a white um, background to it which will then create my pattern that I'm going to use so that would be the pattern for my eye which I would then print out uh, and then I put it onto a board and put my tracing paper uh, grease proof paper parchment paper whatever it is in your country just grease proof paper here um, over the top of it and then um, I use um, my greaseproof paper again to uh, copy my outline of each piece cut it out, stick it on um, you can also, just so you can see, a lot of people use um, posterize I think it's posterize I think that's how you say it um, so let me show just give you a quick demonstration of how that works where is I? Okay, so uh, here we go. So here we go. This is the posterize, and that takes it right down. Fairly basic uh, levels. I'm going to go up my levels a bit, about eight. Okay, or you can come down a little bit if you want a less slightly less detailed picture. It's not a great picture because there's quite a lot of light on it. Um, but if I if I was using it, I'd probably go probably eight, and then you can just it's a little bit easier to see what you're blocking off. So we take this off here, um, come around here a bit. Don't have to be amazingly accurate. This is quite a big area. This is probably a better way of doing it if you're doing um, if you're using values. I don't tend to use values. I just find the colours that I that kind of match because I've done the colour pattern. There we go. So just quickly round like that. Um, you can also change it to black and white as well. That could well help. Um, so there's a black and white version. Um, again, uh, it's prob that's probably the way to do it with your value if you're using your values. Um, but hopefully that just gives you a, just a quick insight into how I make my patterns. Hope that helps.